was first established that the administrator, uh, it was first established that the administrator of the Obinfo Hospital, where a patient where a patient died during a procedure, was not licensed to operate as a plastic surgeon. Deputy CEO of the National Entrepreneurship and Innovation Program, Stacy Ofe Dako, died under mysterious circumstances at the facility, and her body was sent to a morgue without the knowledge of her family. Today, the National Health Facilities uh, Regulatory Agency is revealing that the hospital, which is thought to treat other conditions, actually has no license to run in the first place. Matthew Yao Treme is registrar of the agency. And uh, he's joining me now on the phone. Hello, Mr. Tremi. Hello, good afternoon. How are you? Good afternoon, and thank you very much for your time. So you're saying, and this ap appears actually to be very uh, new information from what has been known over the years, that they sort of had some licensing, but mm -hmm. except that it's been, it's been expired. That's not the case? Sorry, say it again. Uh, are you I'm saying that this... this, this what you're saying. Okay, I'm saying that the yeah. Obinfo Clinic or the Ob yeah. Obinfo Hospital, are you yeah. saying that it has no license at all to operate at all? That is not correct. I said this morning that the facility was... Um, uh, can you can you speak up a bit for me, sir? Uh, it's quite difficult to hear. I know. I said I'm in the kitchen. Can you speak up in the kitchen? I'll do my best. Please, I thank you. I think it was uh, licensed by private hospital for my sake in 2003. Mm. When that license is given, it doesn't have an expiry date. Okay. So that is a kind of an ongoing license, and the facility is supposed to pay retention, and the facility is to be monitored on a yearly basis. Mm. So in that regard, the facility is registered under that board. But I also said that in 2011, 31st December 2011, a new act came into being, which is Act 829. And Part 1 of the Act, Act 829, replaced the, the old Act 9, which was a part of social maternity code board. Mm. What that means is that this facility needs to migrate to HEFRA, my agency. Right. And it's a process. Okay, and um, I said this morning that the process has somehow been frustrated by the fact that a medical doctor there, uh, Dr. Uh, Dominic Kwame, um, or Ben okay. Anders, mm -hmm. has been uh, registered by the Medical and Dental Council for mm. some reason, and he's taking the matter to court. Did right. you say has been registered for some reason? That, does that mean that he was not supposed to have been registered at all? He has been struck off the register of medical right. and dental council. Right. Yeah, because the councils regulate the practice of uh, health professionals. So in the case of a medical doctor, it's a medical and dental council that regulates the, 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 the professionals and their practice. Mm. So for whatever reason, which uh, I am not able to go into now, the medical and dental council considered that he was not deemed to be to be to be registered, so he was struck off their register. So as we speak, is the, isn't that the obvious reason? What we know about people complaining about complications uh, to the the treatment, the source of treatment that he had, he had given them in yeah. the past. It could be. I mean, I'm, what the information that I have, and I, I'm not I don't quote on it anywhere about this. The information I have is that he was doing some practice. He was engaging in some medical practice which they considered that he was not qualified enough to do. Right, so that is right? it. Right? Yes, so that is my information. As to whether that is true or not, I don't know. Uh, Dr. Tiku, the registrar for medical and dental cancer, I think, has spoken uh, comprehensively on the matter. Yes, he so has. That, 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 that is in the public domain already. So, um, what I'm saying is that um, our process has been somehow compromised by the fact that this medical doctor has got his matter in court. And when a matter is before court, it's very difficult for anybody to interfere until the court process is even determined. So okay. that is where we are with respect to uh, Dr. Dominic Kwame of being... How much uh, of his operations uh, How much of his operations were you aware of? His operations? Yes. We are, we are not aware of. At all? Hello, uh, I didn't, as I said this morning, I was... Uh, Appointed this uh, last year, and I understand. Uh, Hello, uh, can you hear me, sir? Yes, I can. Yes, can you say that what you said again? I I, I lost you briefly. I I said that I have been in this post since last year when I received 
uh, came into power yeah, after the elections in 2016, December. So this is since, since last year. But prior to that, I understand in 2013, something happened. That is why the medical and dental cancers uh, got involved with, with his practice and the fact that he is no longer registered with them. So I think at the time, he was suspended for three years. And then I think he took it to court. And the matter, as I believe, and the understand, is sold before the court. Okay. And until the final decision has been done by the court, it's difficult for anybody to, to comment. Otherwise. I understand that. All right, sir, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Matthew Yao Cheme there is the registrar for HEFRA.